Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video, I will be showing you how to calibrate a mechanical digital micrometer. This particular set I have here is made by Fowler, one being a 1 to 2 inch and the other being a 2 to 3 inch. Both are slightly off when checking the zero on the dummy blocks. Dummy blocks are a known measurement which is used for larger than 1 inch micrometers. Always ensure the dummy block and micrometer measuring surfaces are clean to maintain the accuracy. For the first one, both the thimble and readout need to be adjusted. I am testing the accuracy while using the ratchet. One to two clicks, it's all that's needed to get the correct surface pressure. Starting with the thimble, using the supplied wrench which comes with the micrometer, you will need to remove the ratchet first. It has a little hole which the wrench fits into. Each end of the wrench is a different size, so one is for the ratchet and the other is for the sleeve. Holding the thimble tight in one hand and loosening the ratchet, it shouldn't be overly tight and once loose can be spun off with your fingers. Now to remove the thimble, it sits on a taper and can be stuck in place. Depending on how tight it sits on that taper and how long it's been in place will affect how easy it is to remove. Using the rubber handle on a hammer, give it a tap on the knurled portion until it breaks loose. You will notice a different tone when it breaks free after tapping it. You can also use a rubber mallet or a dead blow hammer, something which won't damage the thimble. Now what I'd normally like to do is reinstall the ratchet. Just screw it back into place, finger tight, and this will allow us to set up the surface tension. Of course, you can do this by feel. Set the spindle to the drag of the object. But if you're not comfortable with feel, then this is a suitable option. This also works if you are using a micrometer that goes all the way down to a measurement of zero. Set up the micrometer with a dummy block and then lock it into place. Reinstall the thimble and ensure the zero matches up with the linear line on the sleeve. For fine adjustment, we can slightly rotate the sleeve, which I'll show you in a moment. Push it into place and then reinstall the ratchet. Snug the ratchet down, not overly tight though, there's no need for that. Once everything is back together, check for accuracy again. Now to adjust the sleeve slightly, using the supplied wrench again, there will be a hole where the wrench locks into, then rotate the sleeve to match the thimble zero line. Moving on to the digital mechanical readout, here I am using an older model Fowler, some adjustment procedures may vary between models. Using a small standard screwdriver, remove the retaining screws on the cover. Then remove the cover. Typically the cover will dictate where the readout position is, but in this case we have a raised portion on the readout window so we can line up the numbers without installing the cover. There will be two more screws underneath. On some models, you can loosen the screws and then slide the readout down to disengage it. But this one needs to be completely removed. Now I have already zeroed the readout based on the dummy block and I can also tell by the zero reading on the thimble scale. Then apply the lock. You can also double check the adjustment while the readout is removed. As you can see there is a little gear on the back side which can be rotated to adjust the numbers. For this I need to go to 1 inch and 1 thou or 1.001 of an inch. So once that readout is set back into place, it does catch up on that gear and will go back to zero. If required, this is a good time to apply lubrication. Typically an instrument oil is only recommended as others can either be too thick or create sticking. Once installed, reinstall the screws and then verify the reading to ensure it's reading correctly. And as you can see, it's reading correctly with a dummy block. It's also a good idea to rotate the thimble to ensure the gears are meshing correctly and there's no binding. If there is, you may need to readjust the digital mechanical readout. Moving on to the 2 to 3 inch example, this micrometer on the other hand only needs the thimble adjusted as the mechanical digital readout is reading correctly. Just like before, using the supplied wrench to remove the ratchet. Again, if a thimble is stuck, I'm using the rubber handle of the hammer. Use something which won't damage the thimble to break it free. Once removed, reinstall the ratchet only hand tight so it can be easily removed, yet we can still set the surface tension on the dummy block. 
set up the micrometer based on the dummy block, one to two clicks of the ratchet, it's all that's needed, and then lock the spindle. Reinstall the thimble and push it into place. Then reinstall the ratchet and tighten. Check again to ensure the measurement. This time adjust the sleeve if needed. Lock the spindle again and using the wrench adjust the sleeve. There will be a hole that the wrench locks into to turn the sleeve. And once done, both these micrometers are calibrated. This concludes the rest of my video. If you found it helpful, please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more metalworking videos. Thank you for watching.